Kratom undergoes a long journey to reach U.S. consumers. It grows in Indonesia and can travel more than 15,000 miles as it zigzags across the U.S. before reaching Florida consumers. Hundreds of businesses make up America's Kratom industry. The Tampa Bay Times traced the steps along the trail, focusing on OPMS, one of the country's most popular brands. The vast majority of Kratom entering the U.S. comes from farms in Indonesia, specifically from the province of West Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. When the trees have matured, their leaves are plucked and dried. They can be transported to a processing facility in Pontianak, where Kratom is tested for potency and contaminants and milled into a fine powder. The powder eventually moves to a large port city like Surabaya. From there, it's shipped to the United States. Kratom often travels to the U.S. by sea, on mammoth cargo ships. The trip takes about a month. Much of it arrives in Oakland, California, the most popular point of arrival for Indonesian Kratom. If it clears customs, the herb will get sent across the country, eventually making its way to a warehouse about 20 miles outside Atlanta, Georgia. Samples of the powder are sent to Michigan for testing. The path diverges here. Kratom that will be processed as raw powder capsules goes to Texas, while potent extracts are made in Colorado. If the samples check out, the raw Kratom powder to be refined into capsules and powders is then sent from Georgia to Fort Worth to be treated for contaminants. Sterilized powder is sent back to the Georgia warehouse. It's milled into finer powder at a blending facility about 25 miles away. Then, the raw Kratom heads to a finishing warehouse, another location in Marietta, where it's placed into capsules. It's a different path for extracts. The Kratom is sent from Marietta to a large factory in rural Colorado, where Kratom is made into extract powder. Then it returns to Marietta, where Kratom extract bounces around a few stops in the suburbs of Atlanta. It's transformed into a liquid or placed into capsules. At this point, the Kratom, both extracts and powders, heads to Texas. At Dallas warehouses, the Kratom is bottled or packaged and prepared for distribution. Now, the products can make their way to Florida and around the country after stores place orders from OPMS distributors. That's when extracts, powders, and capsules arrive at gas stations and smoke shops around Tampa Bay. Check out our three-part investigation at tampabay.com.